What is the worst thing you've overheard while pretending to be asleep? When I was around 8 years old I was supposed to be asleep but I snuck downstairs to get milk or something. I heard talking going on downstairs so I stood still and listened. My mom was talking to my brother about how much of a problem I was and how she hated me. She always liked my brother more. I just silently crept back upstairs and cried myself to sleep. Good times. I was in trade school in a different city than my hometown, so I was staying at my in-law's home. My wife's dad was away for the weekend and I noticed her mom was wearing fancy dresses, she's a very beautiful woman often mistaken for my wife's sister, she also seemed extra giddy before she would go out for the evenings. On the evening my father-in-law got home, I was in my room studying when I heard him yell at the top of his lungs so you ducking the guy. I can only assume she felt guilty and told him since it was soon after he go home. Anyways, he was yelling at her for most of the night and I heard lots of crying from both of them. I heard some pretty terrible things. They are both very nice people and it was sad to hear them on their worst night. They've stayed together and it looks like they are fighting to make their marriage work. My father-in-law was very cold, distant, and angry for a couple of years, but they seem to be warm towards each other again. Also, the following morning they apologized for all the noise they made and I told them I was just listening to music. Sleeping over at a friend's house when I was 14, all of us on the floor in living room. Couldn't sleep. Two of my friends, guy and girl, directly next to me start doing freaky things to each other. I was extremely shy and a couple of years younger than them so I stayed quiet and hoped they'd stop. Had to listen to them for an hour while she made weird ass moaning squeaky noises and he was singing, in a weird slightly whispering singing voice, matchbox 20 songs to her while he did whatever he was doing. That was last time I slept over at a friend's house. My mom having an affair with her fiancé's best friend who was married. In the same room that I was sleeping in. I was like 10 years old. Even at that young I questioned her morals and really thought it was shitty of her and the dude she slept with. They were both in relationships, cheating is ducked up. I never treated her differently though, it just changed my perception of her a bit. My mom banged some random guy on my bottom bunk while I was on the top bunk. I was probably 8 or 9 at the time. I'm talking loud, vocal, crazy sex. Looking back I assume she was either wasted or just didn't give a shit, can't ask her now because I haven't seen her since I was around 12 to 13. My then stepmom's nephews talking about what they would do to me sexually if given the chance. I was 14, they were 17, 19 and 21. Thankfully the window to the motorhome was slightly open, and my dad heard the entire thing. I was scared of boys for a long time after that. Unfortunately. I was at the perfect age and stage of my life that it messed me up for a while. Had I been younger, I wouldn't have understood what they meant. Had I been older, I would have been better equipped to understand that all males were not like this. Thankfully, their marriage imploded shortly after. Turns out that essentially their entire family were shitbags. When I was a wee tot, I pretended to be asleep in the family room so I wouldn't have to actually go to bed and once my parents were distracted, I could keep watching TV. I then got to hear my dad proposition my mom for couch sex. It's been many years so I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was something along the lines of hop on pop. I wasn't pretending to be asleep so much as they assumed I was asleep. My in-laws thought I was still napping after dropping my kid off at school, and they started to shit talk me. They said I was a terrible mom, I didn't care about my kids at all and they better buy a cake because I would rather sleep all day than make him a cake. It was his birthday and my god, it was only 10 am, it doesn't take that long to make and frost a cake for him. Anyways, I cried in my room for 2 hours before they left to buy groceries. That is drink themselves into a stupor, before I got up and made the cake and birthday dinner my child asked for. I didn't tell my husband what they said until a week later because I didn't want to ruin his or my child's day. When I was like 10 or 11 I visited my dad and while we were watching a movie I tried to fall asleep and I proceeded to hear him duck his girlfriend on the bed I was trying to sleep on. When I woke up all I saw was clothes on the floor. I don't know why I didn't just get up and leave but at least I fell asleep before it really started. Had a bunk bed in college and one night my girlfriend and I woke up to my roommate banging some chick on the top bunk. My girlfriend asked me what we should do and I just mumbled just go back to sleep because I figured saying something to them at the moment would make things much more awkward. He still doesn't know. 
I was at my boyfriend's apartment staying over, his roommate also happened to have some friends who were dating there as well, I was in my boyfriend's room and they were sleeping in the living room. They were definitely banging. Weirdest thing of it all were these literal banging sounds, like someone was hitting the wall. The whole time I had to piss but getting to the bathroom involved walking by the living room and I did not want to risk it. When we woke up the next morning someone had ripped a chunk out of one of the curtains and the TV remote was snapped in half. To this day I don't want to know what the duck was going on in there. I wasn't pretending to be asleep per se, but I was well on my way. I was under anesthesia and was fading in and out. I remember closing my eyes to help move things along. I was in a lot of pain because my appendix ruptured. This happened years ago, so I can't remember all of the details, unfortunately. I remember being moved over to an operating table and they told me to take my shirt off. I heard someone go, what do you think would happen if I poked her belly button right now? I was an Audi prior to having an appendectomy. They went through my belly button so that is no longer the case, anyway, someone, very quickly, responded, dude, that is not funny. Remember what happened the last time? It's possible I was starting to dream, but I remember it making me feel a mix of amusement and anxiety. Roommate's boyfriend and his friend came into my room when they thought I was asleep. It was warm and I was sleeping naked with minimal blanket coverage. I froze and pretended to sleep. They proceeded to talk about my body and how it was anyone's type. Also how easily it was to drug ladies these days. Oh and also the friend talked about how easy it would be to steal slash sell my boyfriend's boat motor that he had stored in the room. Yeah so they were kicked out and friend became an ex-friend because she was pissed I'd let my boyfriend kick them out. In college. Woke up to roommate's bed creaking, I shoot up to see what the hell is going on. There I see some woman on her back with her legs full spread eagle and my roommate just pile driving it like it was his last day on earth. Like a good bro I quickly lie back down and pretend to be asleep. Her, in between gasps of air is your roommate awake? Him, no he sleeps through anything. Cut to next morning. I casually get up and turn on my PlayStation 2 and start playing some random game. Roommate's fling gets up and casually comes over and sits next to me. Her, good morning. Me, good morning. Her, did you sleep good last night? Me, yeah, I can sleep through anything. As the last word left my mouth I immediately realize I blew it. She began a huge flurry of slaps at my roommate while cursing at him. He didn't care because he was too busy laughing the whole time. It my then boyfriend opening up our bedroom door to show me off to his friends while I was sleeping. It was the middle of summer so I was lying butt naked on our bed. He thought I was asleep. Huge fight occurred the next morning and we were not dating for long after that event. WTF man. I'm still pissed off about that. You knew I was naked. My friend and her boyfriend having sex while we were staying in a hotel room together. There were two beds and my boyfriend and I were on the other one. She was so drunk and her boyfriend was like no stop, they'll hear us, no. But he finally gave in. I kinda gave her shit about it later though. She later on ducked a different guy in my bed that same year during a party. We don't speak anymore. When I was 12 I was staying with my aunt and cousins for a few weeks during summer. My male cousin was 4 years older than me. One night I was laying down in the loft, my sleeping quarters for the trip, and my cousin came home late with a friend. They came up to the loft, where they would normally hang out, and began talking. The friend noticed that I was asleep asked my cousin if he could touch me. There was a whole back and forth about it, but in the end my cousin agreed to let him. His friend then proceeded to touch me. I was terrified, and pretended to stay asleep. After a moment I moved a bit and rolled over, much like you would in your sleep. That was enough to get him to stop. I ducking hate that cousin to this day. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.